Hey guys, I'm Tara with Tara Simon Studios and today I have the distinct pleasure of reacting to Miss Adele and she is doing a live at the NRJ Awards performance of Hello. Let's go. Here we go. This is in 2015, published in 2015. For those of you who don't know, Adele has stage fright. It's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like Which is very admirable that she to go is a performer still. Everything they say the time I love her minimalistic approach to performing, how she simply just lets the music and her voice speak. She's, she's not even looking at the audience right now. Her eyes are closed or she's looking down. She's just standing there. When we were young and free, I'd forgotten how I felt before the world fell at my feet. There's such a difference between us and the million miles. Love the poem. Hello from me. Sounds a little sharp to me on those tops. She doesn't like her actually. If anything, Adele is usually a little under based on the style of her voice. Beautiful vowel there. A little better there, but still a little sharp. Sharp. Great transition between chest and head there. Lots of vocal flexibility. But it don't matter. So, but it don't matter. Doesn't tear you apart anymore. Anymore. So, chest, head, chest. Hello. How are you? It's so typical of me to talk about myself. I'm sorry. I hope that you will. Nice vocal fry there. Did you ever make it out of that town where nothing ever happened? It's no secret that the both of us are running out of time. Time. So hello from me. I think she's finally starting to even out now in the pitch. Nope, went sharp again. <laughs> it could also be an in-ear thing, you know, like live performances are really hard to get sound right. She could not be hearing correctly. But right here she's perfect in pitch. That was better. I love the vocal flexibility. I love the style that that evokes. Mo. So, Mo. That's, and then she goes head again down to chest. Nice. Beautiful run, beautiful vowel. There it is. She's 
so sweet. Aww. She's, she's such a genuine performer. And she's always so relieved when she's finished with the song. You can see the relief on her face. Um, it's, it's very interesting. I, I love watching her live, actually, because I know, um, as a vocal coach, I, I see time and time again students that, you know, you're nervous when you first come into a, a lesson, like a voice lesson. It's sort of like going to the doctors. You know, you know you're, you're being assessed or examined in some way, and so there's this, uh, about it. And, um, and then they get comfortable with you in the session, and you see and hear their voice open up. And, and you know that they're opening up to you as a person, and then that level of comfortability offers this new glimpse into their voice. But then, we do three showcases a year at the studio, and, um, and then they go perform at a, at a showcase, and you're like, what happened to you? Like, where did that person go that was so comfortable and was killing it in the lesson? You're on a stage now, and it was like, it's almost like back to day one, the first session. And it's that, it's that fear, it's that stage fright, it's that like, I'm being judged, I'm being put, I'm putting myself really in front of all of these people. And in some people's minds, there's this, I cannot get over factor of, of everyone staring at me, looking at me, and I have to produce something great. And the pressure and the anxiety that that builds in someone is immense. Um, I, I've, never, I've never had that. I'm grateful that I never had to deal with that, but I deal with it in students all the time. And so my heart really goes out to singers like Adele who actually struggle all the time. This isn't just a one performance thing and now, you know, she's doing it. This is stage fright is a thing. Um, she, she struggles and deals with it on a regular basis and she overcomes in every performance. And I love that about her. I think it's such an inspiration for her fans too. Like, look, I, I have fears. I am fearful. I am afraid. And yet I am here and I am performing for you because that's what I'm designed to do. And I'm not going to let the, the lies of my, uh, inadequacy in my mind stop me from blessing you with what I was designed to do. I love that about her. Um, some pitch issues in this live performance in particular, um, which to me is not indicative usually of Adele, um, especially on the sharp end. If anything, Adele is usually on the under, like the flat end. Um, and just in case you were wondering, this is a decent amount of time after her uh, vocal uh, microsurgery. She had that in 2011. I don't know if, if this song was lowered. I know that, you know, after her surgery, uh, a lot of her songs that she performed live, they lowered, which is fine. Um, so this may have been one of those cases where her voice was used to singing it higher and then they lowered it for live and her muscle memory was still wanting to get up to the higher notes and therefore she was sharp in the choruses. I'm not sure it's just a guess, but it's definitely a possibility. If they did lower the key, I would say that that would be the reason why she was sharp and not maybe as much as an in-ear problem, although an in-ear problem could have existed. Um, some really great takeaways though is if you're a singer and you're looking to kind of emulate Adele, her vocal fries, her, um, her ability to manipulate vowels and kind of play sometimes to the more closed part of the vowel, like hello, instead of hello. You really add that ooh in there and it, then it sounds like something, right? It's got that stylistic something that is extra and something that you wouldn't have thought of or didn't expect to hear. So little, little nuancey things that she does with her voice make it that artistic vocal uh, performance that we all love and, and come to expect out of singers like Adele. So um, a couple little takeaways there, you know, experiment with the way you're placing your vowels, experiment with vocal fries on the beginning and ends of words uh, and sentences, when at the ends of phrasing, um, and also uh, where to put vibrato. You know, she really hones in sometimes on really strong right out the gate vibrato on long holds, which allows us to really settle into that note with her as a listener. And it's really luxurious for us. It's really nice and rewarding for our ears to hear that. So a few takeaways there of things that she is doing that make her so fabulous and so very Adele. Um, I have a couple things that I want to tell you guys about. The first is our instareactions.com page is live. It's so exciting. So if you want me to react to you, like I just reacted to Adele, you can do that. And you can also ask one of my coaches to react to you as well. So it's either me or one of my coaches. They're all hand trained by me. Click on the link below that says instareactions.com and you will be on your way to having us review you. How cool is that? We're the only ones that are doing it. I'm sure we'll be often uh, imitated soon, but 
trust me, we're not going to be duplicated. So come here for your Insta reactions. We're very excited for that. Also, there's an eight week course that I have developed called Sing Smarter, Not Harder. It's thebomb.com. There's over 47 modules of content in there that's drip fed. You can go at, go at it at your own pace, at your own time. It's eight weeks if you do the modules all together in time, but you can take a year to do it if you want. The content's yours to keep afterwards. And within the very first module, people are already saying they're seeing results, which makes my mind just go because I wasn't expecting that. So I'm, I mean, yes, I'm expecting you to improve it in the first module. Wow. That's awesome. So yeah, uh, sign up for the course. If you're interested in that, there's a link below for that. And of course, if you're looking for private lessons, my coaches and I at TSS are more than happy to help you there as well. I will see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.